Well, you know, you, you have to you, you have to prepare mentally. So one, you you have to go back. Like when when you're when you're thinking about your match, you have to you have to look at everything that you've done that led up to that particular match. Because obviously, if you're going to have a buried alive match, there's had to have been some serious things happen along the way to get to the point where you want to bury somebody alive. So you've got to first you got to kind of go back and and reflect on on all that. Because um, like I said, with me, it's always about storytelling. It's not so much about the moves and and all that. It's always about the story. So uh, so you take that into consideration first, and then you figure out okay, what is the what is the prop or, or what is it, is it a casket, right? So if it's a casket match, then you, you know for preparation, you're like oh, what can I? How many different ways can I use a casket to hurt somebody? You know, I mean, <laughs> then hurt them bad enough that I can you know incapacitate them enough to place their body in that casket. So, you know, you know, those are the kind of things that you have to, 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 to think about and process and then figure out how you're going to, uh, you know, how you're going to do it. And, uh, you know, it, it, there's a lot of those matches, you know, like buried alive and, uh, you know, the hell in the cells and, uh, and the inferno match. That one was, you know, <laughs> That was interesting. There wasn't uh, there wasn't any rehearsing anything on that one. Believe me, that was just out there doing it and hoping that I wasn't the one that got caught on fire. <laughs> as morbid as that sounds, but it, I guess it fits for what I do.